hey, hey, y'all. Welcome to the channel. For those of you that are new, welcome to Birth and Bosses with Felicia. I'm Boss Lady Fee. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Happy, terrific turnaround Tuesday, guys. Listen, I am out and about early this morning. It is 7 o'clock on the dot, 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, guys. And I am out here. What? Where am I? I am out here in these Dollar General streets, guys. Today is going to be an amazing shopping day. I know for those of you that are new to my channel that you have not seen these type of videos in a while, guys. But those of you that have been sticking and staying, y'all know that Dollar General is a must on this channel, right? So we are out shopping um, today. I haven't been out in a while for number one. The things that I need and want and are willing to pay the price for have not been on sale well maybe have been on sale but haven't been marked down to what i want it marked down to and y'all already know what i want to mark down to 90 percent off or either have dropped to a penny so a lot of the items um that i've been you know waiting for are 90 percent off and to be honest i have not been in dollar generals shopping in god knows when I mean, I've been in there maybe like to pick up some tissue or household items, but I never go through the aisles. And y'all know that it's so not like me. I have not been in the aisles to look to see what store still has this and what store still has that. So with that being said, I really don't know what I'm getting myself into this morning. I don't know if there's a lot of items still out here. I don't know, you know, if everything is almost gone, but we will see when we get here, guys. Of course, I am running a few moments behind, okay? I normally do pretty good with this part, but I am running behind. I'm going to be probably about 10 minutes behind because my first store that I travel to is like 10 minutes from my house, anywhere from 10 to 12 minutes from my house, and it's already 7.02. So um, I try to get there and be the first one, if not the first, amongst the first to get inside the store because of course the early bird gets what the deals all right so we're gonna see what we can find guys so y'all stay tuned and i will let you guys know all of what's on sale by the end of this video i'm pretty sure a lot of you already follow youtubers that give you that dollar general information but i can go ahead and tell you i know i'm gonna leave something out because it's a whole lot of markdowns um 90 off on um yellow dot shoes and apparel um 90 off green dot 90 off summer toys which are the pink squares um and for those of you that like what are you talking about pink squares yellow dots when you go to dollar general they have a um pricing um pri pricing system and um they use at the bottom of the um uh, or either on the back of the item you will see under the price, you will see either a yellow dot, green square, um, green star, whatever. You'll see some type of symbol, and that signifies whether that's considered part of whatever those markdowns are for that week. If it's the green square markdown, any item, most times, not all items, because every now and then sometimes there are exclusions. Um, you know, um, that week, that is what will be on sale for whatever percentage it is marked. And keep in mind for all my newbies, um, not just new to the channel, but new to Dollar General Shopping, um, whenever you go in a store, honey, it is not gonna always, most of the times, it's not gonna have the sale sign up. That's just Dollar General's, um, you know, that's just how they are. They're not like um, Hobby Lobby where you go in there, well, my Hobby Lobby's anyway, when you go there, it's always marked down. It's always telling you what the sale price is. They're always indicating what's on sale. That's not the case with Dollar General. So keep that in mind. Always, always, whenever there is a store that has an app that's, that allows you to scan the items, make sure that you have that app downloaded and make sure that you change the store's location each time you go into a different store because sometimes different stores have different prices. It used not be that way, but it is now. So your miles may vary, okay, folks? They, you know, yeah, your miles may vary. So um, just keep that in mind. Mind that different stores may have different prices, okay? All right, so y'all stay tuned. Okay, y'all, so I am in a store that has quite a few 
of these mugs and I'm picking up every one that I saw. You guys know that we are able to use these to make our mug gifts for any occasion and the purple ones will be super for lavender baskets or any other type of baskets that you're going to be making. So be on the lookout for these. It is a green dot on the bottom and they ring up 40 cents. Okay, y'all, so this is a conclusion of the haul that I got, guys. I did not go to about, let's see, one, two. I went to about five stores, maybe. Um, So I didn't get a lot of stuff, guys. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I go to multiple, multiple stores. But Boss Lady Fee just was not feeling it today, guys. Again, for those of you new following me, I have such a great inventory um, it doesn't bother me the fact that I'm not able to, or I didn't go out to get a lot of stuff, guys. This is just a surplus, um, or a overflow, <laughs> I would like to say, for the items that I already have, guys. So, these are the items that I purchased. I think I got like 20, um, mugs from one store, guys. You saw this already in a clip. I got these two baskets. I don't think I recorded these. These were... I think they were 80 cent yeah 80 cent a piece the original price was 80 eight dollars not 80 dollars and these are the baskets that i've already shown you guys if they were eight dollars they were 80 cent if they were ten dollars they were a dollar and i got quite a few of those as you can see they're all stocked up and these baskets right here which was my greatest find because i love these wire baskets guys because you can use them in so many different ways and i'm probably going to give these two to my children being that they um well one my son is just recently moved into a house my daughter been in her house and then i got another daughter that is about to move in her house so i probably give them these right here so they can use these in their bathroom or wherever they want to use them at but those of you that are used to me know that I do not like wire baskets that you can see through because then you have to um, use something to kind of camouflage the inside of the basket, guys. But no worries. We're going to make it do what it do. We were not one, two, three of these, four, five. Let's see if I got another one in there. I think that's five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven. So we have eleven of these canvas bags, guys. These are really, really nice woven candle, um, not candle, woven canvas bags. Really, really nice, sturdy bags. Those that are ten dollars are ringing up one dollar, guys. And here you see the pillow. I've already showed you this on a previous clip. Here's another pillow, and I think I got another one um somewhere i got two pillows let's see well actually three i don't know where the other one is but here is another um item that i want you guys to be looking at that i that i did not include in a clip and that's these little baskets right here and they probably have larger sizes as well but the stores that i went in this was the only size that was left available and these are ringing up 50 cent guys all right it got four compartments in here and i will be doing a video soon to show you guys what this actually looks like here are some of the wallets that i got yellow dot one store i went in it was not ringing up 90 percent so like i said when you have the app on your phone just make sure that you are changing the store um to each location so when you go in it may not be 90 percent at one store but it may be at another store so these wallets guys are ringing up 80 cents this is a plus plus because you already know if you've been following me what we use these wallets in so these are some nice gifts that we can use in um, baskets or just in baskets in general guys so make sure you are looking out for the yellow dots as well okay let me show you one more before we end this part of the video this is another pink one they have them in all different colors i have some other ones as well let's see if i can grab them real quick i'm trying to make this video as quick as possible these are some more this is a black one that has a love chain attached again 80 cents guys 
and I've already showed you all these. Um, quite a few of these I left behind. Um, really, a lot of this stuff I really could have left behind because where I found it at, because I'm a pro, okay? <laughs> I'm a Dollar General shopping pro. I know that these items would have still been there when they turn a penny, but I just wanted to go ahead and pick them up, guys, because I'm not into the flow of shopping like I used to was, guys. Please understand, even though it's been a year since my husband passed, I'm still um, coping and dealing with grief. So I just don't have the motivation to shop as much as I used to, even though I'm keeping it swinging and keeping the ball rolling from court to court. I'm just not into it as much as I used to be. So, and it's, that's one of the reasons. And the second reason is I have so, so much inventory guys. And like I said, I have one daughter, um, left that's here with me and she's about to move. So I will have that room as well, um, where I can add my inventory guys. But I'm telling you my house, my attic is swamped with merchandise, which is a good thing because I'm going to need it when Valentine's Day comes. Those of you that have been following me already know how things roll around Valentine's Day. So it's no big problem. It's actually a good thing that I'm overflowed with products. But at the same token, I got to make sure that I keep things as neat and possible as possible. Okay. Understand as a gift basket designer, you're not going to be able to keep things neat and tidy all the time but as much as possible um because most of us are not living by ourselves and those of you that are like i will be in a couple days you still want to make sure that you keep your house nice and presentable because you don't want to keep things in a um way that will make you not comfortable or make you not want to um you know it'll it'll cause you not to want the design when you have so much stuff I'm trying to find some of those candles, you guys, that I found. Let's see, they might be in here. Yeah, I think we can. So, look in every, 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 every area, guys. Don't just go based upon because they may have green dots sitting on a table. Look in the candle section. Look in the towel section. Look in every section of your store, guys. I found these items throughout the store. They're not just sitting where the green dot items were sitting. They're sitting in different areas in your store. So make sure that you are on the lookout for those items, okay? All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video so it don't get so lengthy. Um, but there are quite a few items that are on sale following the 90% and the Halloween is following 70% off, guys. All right, get your money, honey, and fill your bag to the next video. Bye, y'all.